Hello my soccer universe and yes more emptiness behind there. Um, I was briefly thinking shall I try to do what I did for the La Liga uh, La Liga and so on review uh, and try to fill it up but I honestly don't have the jerseys. I really don't. Most of my English jerseys I have six from non-top six teams. Yeah and I have only two Dutch jerseys. I could have uh, pulled up more uh, two more Ajax jerseys but let's be frank. Let's be frank, um, it probably looks better with the emptiness behind. I did not, I left the spots for Spurs and Arsenal completely out. Uh, so uh, there should be more holes there, but I, I decided, okay, that's a hybrid. And yeah, obviously I need more Dutch teams and maybe a tad more Premier League, but uh, Dutch teams, Dutch teams is where I should <laughs> focus on. <laughs> Definitely. In any case, I'm wearing a Dutch team, Ajax, who managed to win the Baker. I see. It's called in Dutch because I just watched the highlights of that final in Dutch. Uh, we had also, I mean, the main focus in this video will definitely be on the cup action, although there's really not much I can say about the FA Cup. You saw the headline, Dull Dollar FA Cup. This was horrible, absolutely horrible. Yes, maybe tactically interesting, but not gripping in any way and form. Uh, really hated these games. The games were actually so dull that I decided uh, in the second half I'm gonna make an unpacking video. I was shooting it right here and you will get this uh, tomorrow. So look for, 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 for that one. It just I never do stuff like that but I thought this is much better and I got a very nice shirt there as well. But yeah. In the Premier League also, uh, result-wise, I think the biggest result was that Newcastle beat West Ham, uh, getting rid of any of their worries about getting re relegated in West Ham, therefore um, kind of being now on the outside looking in a little bit for the top four spots. Uh, who see? We'll see who can scoop it up the round. They still not finished Liverpool, definitely only got a single point and the biggest news if it wasn't for all that Super League talk Mourinho is out Mourinho got sacked uh, a week before the League Cup final which I will not talk about uh, <laughs> on this channel because I have not been following the League Cup at all and I'm, I will not uh, this weekend either so uh, but Mourinho is out um, did not come as a big surprise. Maybe that they um, gonna put that much money, uh, you know, they have to pay him a lot, a lot of money. But if really this Super League thing is coming, and I'm desperately, I'm definitely thinking about it, no, not desperately, definitely think, thinking about making a second video on that as more developments are coming. Maybe it doesn't hurt them as much. But. Uh, we can joke with Juventus already that Juventus leads the Super League in order to qualify for a top European competition. This is even more so true for Spurs and Ar Arsenal, who are just dreadful uh, to a certain degree, Liverpool as well. And exactly those three teams probably need the money the absolute most. Uh, it also needs to be uh, very clearly said for um, United, City and Chelsea, money is not that much of an issue. They are more like bothered that they cannot really do what they want to do and spend crazy money on players because of FFP. FA Cup semi-final. Uh, Chelsea City, I was rather excited. Yes, it came off the back of Champions League qual quarterfinals where, yeah, that's, yeah, now we'll talk about this in a, in a different video. Uh, the, Spoiler, uh, the two of them that might actually not even play the Champions League semi-final, but uh, that's uh, taking a while. To be honest, Chelsea shut up shop. Manchester City made so many changes because they had a pretty tough travel back and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, it was not a good game. It was not a good game. It was, I mean, the commentators really li liked it to a uh, very defensive chess where Chelsea is moving a little bit more uh, tentative in, in the offense, but overall it was not good. The winner came uh, when there was a pass on Werner, then uh, Stefan kind of misjudged uh, the cross in and Zier can put it in, 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 into the net. There was not really much coming was dull. Uh, it was so dull that I didn't, I mean I saw at halftime that Leicester Southampton is nil-nil with a slight advantage uh, Leicester. Um, but they also said yeah it's a rather, rather tough watch. 
Iheanacho gets the goal, gets the goal, and Leicester move on to the FA Cup final where they meet Chelsea on Saturday, the 15th of May. Um, yeah, uh, maybe a surprise final. City will not uh, have the four trophies, but to be honest, I think there's only one trophy that they care. And obviously they don't care too much about that one either because they say, nope, we're gonna get make our own league. Moving on to the Premier League. Um, Everton Spurs. That is again that Everton should have won because both Spurs goals, the Everton defense didn't look good in both cases. Harry Kane just uh, is a clinical striker. <laughs> With the first goal, at the, he just takes and pulls to the net. It was really nice, nice done. Sigurdsson with a penalty and a really nicely played go uh, goal via Coleman, who had just come on a minute before, uh, give Everton the lead, but then absolute slapstick defending, where one defender heads the ball on the butt of, of the other, the ball falls to Kane, who just see, oh, the ball's coming, boom, let's put it in, 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 into, into the net. It was not enough to save Mourinho, uh, who, as, as I said, it did not come necessarily as a surprise, because... Uh, the strength of Mourinho used to be that he's so much behind his players and defend them against the outside forces. And at the moment, he is more against his players and they are definitely not playing what uh, Spurs would like to play. So, yeah, uh, it was broken. And yeah, I think I think the future of Mourinho is in Portugal. But I, I think uh, no top team. I heard maybe Inter might still, if Conte, uh, Conconbus, that might, might, might be the one. But they have everything else, I think, uh, he's done in England. That's for me. Newcastle West Ham. Oh, it was also slapstick. Absolute slapstick. Their first goal uh, for New Newcastle, similar to the Inter goal, uh, the Napoli goal against Inter, where the goalie and the defender are not on the same page and, and then it falls into, the, uh, into them. Then, uh, Western player Dawson gets it off, Joel Linton makes it 2-0 and at that point you uh, a shock result and if you are leaning we uh, West Ham you were very, really worried. However, West Ham find a way back. Diop in the 73rd and then uh, Jesse Lingard with a penalty, so two. Um, uh, uh, Jesse Lingard with, with, with a penalty. Um, get the two goals in the 88th and just when you thought the momentum has fully swung it swings back because we look in the 82nd gets the win for newcastle uh wolves beat sheffield united 1-0 arsenal in the 96th or 97th minute uh gets an equalizer against fulham who had taken the lead um through a penalty arsenal is just a shambles of uh, a shell of not shell, a shell of their former selves uh, unbelievable. Uh, United seemingly uh, was in, seemed to be in trouble because in the 50th it was 1-1. Uh, Greenwood and Tarkovsky um, cancel each other, other out within two minutes and then Mason Greenwood uh, finds the breakthrough after Pogba assist and Van de Beek uh, assists Cavani to make it 3-1. And yesterday evening um, Liverpool and Leeds 1-1. One, one. Uh, first half more Liverpool get a really nicely played goal um, where the, uh, the ball, a deep ball that uh, comes to Alexander-Arnold uh, and uh, pull, um, puts it over to Man Mane, empty net. 1-0 uh, right after the half, I think Liverpool probably should have decided, especially Jota with a free header, uh, needs to bury that one. Uh, and then the game turned more and more and more and more towards Leeds, uh, who had Pretty big chances to equalize, and you thought the equalizer might never come, but then Llorente in the 87th gets the well, well, well deserved equalizer. Although Liverpool had one more chance to win it, but overall, Leeds really, really um, dominating that game. And uh, also, has to be said, Leeds uh, is kind of the first team that took the field uh, protesting against the Super League with uh, with shirts in warm up, which for some reason Klopp didn't like. Which this is not against Klopp, this is against the owners. In, in, in a way. And yes, Liverpool will have now a big fat target on their backs, uh, as will all the other teams. So uh, that might actually put a very interesting spin on uh, the end of the season. As I said, we have three more games to be played in, in, in this round, so it kind of feels weird, but these are the current standings. We still have West Ham in there, uh, but with a game more. Uh, uh, more. 
uh, Liverpool could have uh, gotten there, but nope. If uh, you you don't win against uh, Leeds, you're not getting there. Spurs also just hanging about there, but with no real chance. At the moment, it is Chelsea a little bit favored over Liverpool because they have the game in hand. But Liverpool is a really, really sweet run and they have only United away and the rest is rather winnable games. Although, uh, if there's a relegation fight, you never know. I mean, uh, it's those easy games uh, are not always foregone conclusions on the bottom. Newcastle really, with the last two rounds, rid themselves of any relegation trouble. They are now um, eight points clear of Fulham. Who really would have needed the win at Arsenal, but at the moment it looks full on West Brom and Sheffield United going down. Uh, we need to adjust and to see if we adjust Chelsea would go ahead of West Ham. Have that, keep that thought because uh, that will be interesting now for the upcoming schedule. Um, but before that, uh, expected standings, West Ham will on, is only expected to finish six. Chelsea now uh, slightly ahead of Liverpool, but uh, there is not much that will uh se separate them uh liverpool especially profiting from the easier run in otherwise a few changes down there but uh it's all right as i said we have three more games uh to be played uh tonight we have chelsea against brighton uh villa against uh city and then leicester against west brom um and then the around third third three where we have already two games played uh arsenal everton Interesting game. I, have, I would say Liverpool Newcastle is a classic, but I think the big one definitely is West Ham against Chelsea. That's the one that we have to look out all out for because uh, if West Ham wants to have a chance, they better beat Chelsea. But it's also the kind of, kind of the one win where Chelsea could really assert themselves for a top four spot. But again, who cares? We also Leeds United against Man United. That's a classic as well. Going. To the Netherlands, where we had no rounds so far, but we did with the KNVB Baker. The Ajax won um, with a, it was actually a bit labored win. Uh, from the hardest that I could gather is that um, Ajax started out uh, dominating uh, the proceedings of, of the game Gravenberg, especially um, a, a threat, but also, of course, um, uh, David Klassen. Up from the Grafenberg gets the uh, lead in the 23rd minute. Uh, and then a really nice uh, attack over Brocha and Op uh, Openda con converts, but a little bit in injures him, him himself. That kind of settled the game. Uh, yes, Ajax had seemingly more of the game, but it seemed to be really going a little bit towards this one, one and then into overtime. However, Rasmussen with a fairly reckless challenge. Um, Gets a straight red card. Initially it uh, was a yellow, but uh, you, you can see how the ref is thinking. Yeah, and it turns out uh, to be a red card, which actually gives, gives uh, Ajax another uh, boost. And then they get, get the winner uh, when, uh, you know, the ball seemingly clear, but uh, Alea has it over to Neres, uh, who puts it completely unmarked in the internet and Ajax wins. I think it was their 20th cup title, if I remember correctly. Um, Ajax will play in the midweek round, uh, also a makeup game. And then on the weekend, they play a pretty big tie against AZ, um, which will not have much to do with the title, but it is probably potentially the two best teams. We also have Feyenoord against Vitesse, uh, another very interesting game. So that was it for me for reviews for this week. Again, I, I honestly was, I think, thinking about putting this one a little bit off, but I said, okay, FA Cup and Kane Bay Baker, um, we had this, so let's put them in there. And I'll probably, at the uh, end of next week, we'll talk about the remaining games in these two leagues. Anyway, let me know what you thought uh, about the games on the field. Super League, I will make, uh, and I will probably make another video. Um, and yeah, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye.